Hello everybody, welcome to a new modern video featuring uh, some Brothers War cards in the third path Iconoclast. This is a young pyromancer that also triggers on artifacts such as Mishra's Bubble and also that creates artifact creatures so that you can pump your Earth's Saga like Construct. This version was made by Aspirant Spike and uh, I like it. I've seen a league of him on Channel Fireball yesterday and I've been impressed with the deck. I want to try it out as well. This is a new card here in Mishra's Research Desk. This is a card advantage engine that you can uh, fetch up with uh, Urza Saga. Unlike uh, Mishra's Bubble, uh, this doesn't only just draw a card, it also just selects the top two cards as well as having unearthed. So for three mana you can basically just draw two extra cards from the graveyard. It's quite cool, I think it's uh, definitely a card to explore. Uh, the way you're winning, this deck is very similar to Blue Red Merktide, this is why I'm posting it on YouTube on a Sunday, because um, we're playing similar cards such as Ragavan, Anoli Heat, Spell Pierce, Mishra's Bubble, Expressive Iteration, but we don't have the, you know, Ledger Shredder, Merktide region package, but instead we have the Emery, Rebuke, Podcast package. Uh, this deck reminds me, um, so in Legacy, when uh, Ragavan was still around, uh, there was this deck called the Blue Red, uh, or rather Just Guy Sagavan, which you combined uh, uh, Ragavan and Urza Sire. Ragavan, of course, makes treasures, so you can uh, pump the uh, construct with them as well as uh, tapping them for rebuke or you know reducing for thought casts. We're also playing Giganta, as there's no counter spell, Merc that Regent, and etc. So, yeah, let's see how this deck does. Again, uh, I, I've seen this deck yesterday and I quite liked it, so I'm excited to try it out. Nogira. Buongiorno Nogira. 44 months of oh, sub. Thank you, thank you. I'm excited for the... The Christmas tournament, we are uh, well, hosting a Christmas tournament at our IGS, which is going to be team event, uh, the, the three most popular formats of our era, which are uh, Popper, Legacy and Modern. I found the team, so uh, I am ready, it's going to happen, uh, I guess it's next month, but you know, still, something to look forward to, as always. Alright, my hand's amazing. What a great hand I got here. The woman will I play? Uh, modern. Yeah. Yeah, because in my town, they only play Legacy and Popper, so I'm the only modern player. This hand is great. Like, I have Eternal and Emery. I mean, it's super lucky to have Eternal and Emery, honestly. I only have five artifacts, but I guess we're running high. Where are my teammates? Uh, Sam it on me. Let's go. Mox. Bobo. Spar Bluff. Emery. Easy. Mistra's research desk. Perfect. Ooh, I can even tap Mox Amber for blue mana. I don't need it though. I'm not planning to jump on Arena. Nope. I already played a lot of Pioneer. I think that's already a big jump. Now time to play turn one Emery's. Now time to play powerful cards. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what to do here. Should I crack this bubble? I think I'm actually, mm, I'm holding bubble there. Yeah. I like to just, see what I draw first, I guess. Oh, the mountain is here, by the way. Oh, Ragavan. Hmm. Alright, look at this. I think I have a good play here. I'll put it clearly doesn't have a burn spell, or they would have killed my Emery. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll dash Ragavan. Get a treasure. Oh, this is gonna be a very good turn too. Man, look at this turn too. 
Oh, wait, you have something? No way. He's getting the triumph. Yeah, alright. It was impossible that there's something, because they're only on top with Emery. So, right on connect. Wheat, a flawless strand. Now, I flashback the Mistress Richard desk with Emery. And now I have four artifacts, and I can click on the Thoughtcast, pay blue with the treasure, and even if it wouldn't, Thoughtcast results, I only have two, three treasures, three artifacts, it doesn't matter. That still counts, okay? So that is um, something to know about. So basically, the Ragavan Dash only costed one mana because we discounted with the treasure. We discounted this with the treasure. All right, that's it. I finished my turn. I'm now going to suck the bubble because I already played the Thoughtcast, so I don't need the artifacts anymore. Ooh, that gone. All right, this is probably uh, for Color Rhinos then. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can my Emery. That's fine. Emery already did a plus one. And you suspend if food falls. All right, fair enough. Uh, I draw two cards here. Ragavan is quote unquote free because uh, it turns on my Mox Amber. Draw land, important. Ooh, Therpata Iconoclast. All right, so. <clears throat> uh, mm. Do I want to dash or cast this? So my opponent is going to play two Rhinos next turn. Dashing mean I don't think accomplishes much, except I don't have a Ragavan in play for my Mox Amber for next turn. So I'm just casting a Ragavan, casting an Iconoclast, and then uh, casting a Ether Spell Bomb, make an artifact token. <coughs> Alright, and then I pass. Next turn, I will only hit one Rhino. And then uh, also express alliteration. In the meanwhile, I get a lot of tokens here. The wire, this means they don't have a third land and a fourth land in the end. You usually want to hold these uh, these lands for later. Bonjour, no Fritz. Which on the Jake? Whoa, Fury! I didn't think about that. All right, I guess we lose everything. Goodbye, board state. It's been nice meeting you. Good morning. Good morning, Mephisto. They have two cards. Hopefully, they don't have a cascade spell. They don't. Or maybe I guess they could have the. Ooh, that's nice. Hello. Uh, let's go, Emery first. Because that will turn on my Mox Amber. And then I play Iteration. Oh, that sucks though. Huh. I wish I played iteration first, I guess. But then if I played iteration first, I couldn't have red mana up. Huh. You think they have uh, an outburst? Maybe. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. What if I do... If they had an outburst, would have main phased it. Yeah, right? I was topped out, so... I just want to blast you for, th for 4 damage, maybe, yeah. Alright, I'll go hand, bottom, exile, just gal blast you and pass. It's not ideal, but... It might matter. If they go end of turn outburst, I will regret not having exiled this. Uh, they have it. Why didn't you main phase it? Uh, 
PS I got got. Although it's important that my Emery survives. Because I can just bounce a token, get back Emery, bounce a token. I'm okay here. Very fine here. And I pass again. This time I have a spell pierce. They have another crashing footfalls, which I can once again just you know get rid of with my emery. Just one emery plus spell bomb gets rid of two tokens. That's all right. I will bounce this one too. At the end of turn, I'm going to exile the Mishra's Disc. Sorry, sacrifice the Mishra's Disc. Unless they play a card I need to counter. Like they play Ardent Flea now. Oh, they play Leyland Binding. Alright. That works. Yep. Honor Cluster Metallic Rebuke. Hmm. Metallic Rebuke lets me counter the Crushing Footfalls. Well, that's not true. This doesn't go to end. This goes to exile, so I guess I'm locked in taking the third path Iconoclast. And passing. <clears throat> the mountain has been milled, so... Alright, footfalls, but it's two token into play, and I can only hit one. I'm actually doing that in upkeep, right? Yeah. Good morning, good morning. Take token too. I haven't drawn an Urza Saga yet in 29 cards. That will very much help my cause here. I'm not playing the spell peers. I can do better than just trading it for a token. Okay, go iteration. Oh, Kaboya. That was not easy. That was not an easy capacity. Um, let's go hand bottom exile. Then I guess I'm going to do this. Miss Res Richard desk. Okay. And Till your next turn, you may play that card. I guess I'm just going for an expressive iteration. And pass. That's good. And now my opponent conveniently Plays into my Shardless Agent, now that I don't have it up. And uh, I probably lose now. Yeah, hand, bottom. It's just that Urza Saga that it's missing. Like, Urza, where is it? Like, I dug... 38 cards. Oh, it costs so much mana. Yeah, but I lose. All right. GG. Right, plus a storm. Hmm. What to cut? Just removal spells? Could be. Let's go with this. 
What's more likely to be relevant, a lowly heat or gal blast? I don't know. On the play for game two. All right, let's go. Buongiorno, buongiorno. <clears throat> let's start with a bomb. Opponent has cards like uh, Force of Vigor, so we have to think about that with the Flash Storm. All right, that's good. And to counter a force and vigor now, but I think I'm happy to do this. Have death gone? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Upland go, and unfortunately, I don't find a land to make a construct. Draw a card. There it is. Very good. I'll bubble you as a Charlotte agent on top of your deck. That's important to know about. And I pass. Gal Blast. Yeah, I'm clear if Gal Blast is better than Holy Heat. Oh, they don't have a third land. That's good news. I want to make a token and get a Spring the Drum. Problem of that plan is if. Hmm. Nah, I think I'm not doing that. I'll get a Mishra's Research Desk, which I can uh, sacrifice immediately for a land here. There it is. <laughs> and now I can cast a Third Path Iconoclast and hold up Flusser Storm. I go with this, they go Bone Crusher. That's annoying. If I just go through Path I Call, I think it's fine to do this. They kill it. I'm okay with that. And move on with my life. I'll hold the Flusser Storm. I'll hold the Flusser Strand up because of uh, they might side in Blood Moon, so I want to get a basic island. I guess I could have fetched first. Yeah, Mr. Reacher's desk is very good with Urza Saga. You saw it here. I was looking for lands, and this was just the perfect card to do so. <clears throat> a basic island and counter the crushing footfalls. Which I know I see. Same target. Make a token. Yep, all right, let's go. Untap, play iteration. Make tokens. What am I looking for? I guess Urza Saga would be nice. Whoever is also good. I'm gonna go hand, bottom, exile. And see now, the soldier make Emery even better. Cause he costs one mana because of the soldiers. And I pass. Again, this thing making artifact is a huge deal. It's not. It's not young pyromancer. Hello, fellow I appreciate it. 
it's not Young Pyromancer. People be like, it's Young Pyromancer. No, Young Pyromancer is, is not playable anymore. This card is playable because it makes Artifact, which combos with so many different things. I'm enjoying this deck. Well, this is my second game. First game, I think I hit a pretty bad variance. Although it was fun regardless, yeah. I mean, first game is one of the classic games that you lose, but it's kind of still a good game, you know what I mean? Alright, you evoke Fury. Mm, sure. But once again, Fury. Fury is a huge deal. It's the second time that Fury kills exactly this board. Yep. I can't do anything about it. All right, they pass three cards in your hand. I could have got blast the shockless agent. I didn't even think about it. Okay. Let's cast Ragavan and pass. Misia Axelak, eleven months. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, I pass here. I have to keep up this Flusso. So remember, Flusso Storm counters, it's a mana leak. Counters unless you pay three. And it can't be countered back. It's really just the best thing ever against these decks. It's actually not mana leak. It's uh, even better. Because uh, what happens is that my opponent uh, can't even fight it back with uh, one single counter spell. So it's like a mana leak that can be countered. It's like a Dubin's Veto mana leak, you know what I mean? Fury seems good against this deck. Yeah, Fury is a good card. <clears throat> I've been playing a lot of X1s, Fury is going to kill you. Hopefully there isn't a Fury in my horizon now. Our casted Fury would be annoying. Yeah, the Galvani Blast, maybe it's better as an Anomaly Heat. I don't know, we'll have to think about it. Why not Shrapno Blast? It costs two mana, that's... It's really a lot. Like the difference between one and two is very big in this deck. I mean, all this top cast. No, I mean I can't complain. I have this iteration every turn. So, um, yeah, let's go. Hand, bottom, exile. I think I want to dash Ragavan. I hope they don't have a... We have one card. I hope they don't have a Violent of Burst. I really feel like I started so strong this game and now the fire is... Uh, is going low. I'm running out of fire. Yeah, one card. Doesn't have to be a... a, a what's that? Oh, Endurance. Man, that's a beating. All right, there's no cards at least. Wish I had an Oli Heat once again. I think I saved the Galvani Blast for the Endurance at least. All right, they have no cards in hand. Let's go. They have three footfalls in the graveyard. Experimental Synthesizer. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of options that you can play. Alright, Blast of Storm, not bad. Um, what should I go for here? 4 mana draw 2 or Emery? I think 4 mana draw 2. If I draw Nurza Saga, it's better to do 4 mana draw 2 than Emery. Because Emery, it's like, I even have to get lucky with the mill if I want it to be relevant. Mystical Dispute. Alright, I can't counter. Because they have a uh, mana to pay. They have no cards in it once again. I have Gigantha, but I, I think it was better to go for mana draw two than Gigantha. All right, it's pretty obvious that they don't play Blood Moon. That's that's important to know for the next game if there is a next game. My Plot Storm is still active because they have five mana. So if they go like Cascade Spell, I can steal a, a mana leak for one. And you can see this is my third Flash Storm, but they shuffled my deck. Actually, they didn't shuffle my deck. They just put it on the bottom. All right, I'll uh, go Thought Gust again here. Okay. 
I can go this untapped bubble bubble emery and now it's still a flash storm up but I think the two life it's okay to lose here I didn't mean anything but that's alright I have the bubbles you have a crushing footfalls on top that's not a great drop so my opponent runs out of footfalls they don't have them anymore because three is in the graveyard oh that's not true actually all right, never mind. They still have one footballs in the deck. I thought they had three in the graveyard. They only have two in the graveyard. All right, so two in the graveyard, one in end. I draw two. All right, Thoughtcast, not great, but okay. Yeah, Thoughtcast, I think it's stretching a little bit. The original list of Spike was playing four, I cut one. They, they have a dead gone in end. Dead gone, and they have footballs. All right, I go to five here. The Zim are close though, I like it. Then I suspend the Rhino card. Let's draw. Alright, let's do it. Iconoclast. And then what? Iconoclast. I want to dash Ragavan? I can't return Giganta now. I think it's a fine slot spot to return Giganta. Then I guess I'm gonna chum block with a with a soldier this time. Alright. Uh yeah, chum block with a soldier. No, you don't attack? Okay, I respect it. I'll play my good friend Giganta. That's a nice little mare. Doesn't make much sense that my opponent didn't attack me last turn. Do they know I have Ragavan in end? And if yes, how? Blue red, you're stomping the iconoclast. I uh, could blast a storm it, but I don't want to. If you recast, it's okay. I have Giganta now to stop. I draw two. Where is my Urza saga? Where is my Urza Saga? Why don't I draw Urza Sagas? How many counters is this? It's approaching. I mean, I guess I can go Spell Pierce and Plus Storm, right? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you, Drew. I can't believe I'm losing also this game. Like both games were so impossible to lose. <laughs> uh. You can play like your Shredder over Emery for sure. Or is a Saga? I'm dead, right? Hope I'm feeling better. And better of what? So if I go Spell Pierce, they pay two, and then plus this one costs three. So yeah, I can't counter. Really, really hard to lose this game. I guess turn 13, 5 lands is, is strong. I guess 6 because they have a fiery island. I clearly there was a saga that I was calling for. Alright, 
let weird things happen this game. A couple of scenarios where I felt like my opponent did something strange. I don't have that many regrets about the game, except maybe registering Thoughtcast. But uh, yeah. Let's hope to continue better. Buongiorno Alfredone! Also, keeping God Blast over an old Hito's bed. Do you change my setup? See, I changed my setup, Alfred. It's, my desk isn't anymore on that side, it's on the other side. So in front of me, I have the cards and the trophy or whatever. And um, now behind me, there is the world map and uh, you know, the door. Yeah. Yeah, there's more space this way. So the main reason why I decided to do that is because my area, my area is having like the the area I live in in, in Italy right now is having a lot of earthquakes. Heart earthquakes. There was one big and a lot of small. I mean, big. There was one like sizable, and many other small. But I was like, you know, I'm sleeping on top of on top of me. I'm. On top of my bed, there's like all of this stuff that might fall down if there's a big earthquake. So I wanna have nothing above my head, you know what I mean? You wanna play of one mind instead of Thoughtcast? I think they're both like not modern power level. Like, yeah. Like, for all the games that you cast Totkas for one mana, there's a lot of games where you're casting Totkas for four mana. That's unacceptable in modern. You can't play a deck that casts Totkas for four mana. And the same thing for all one mind. For all the games that you cast it for full one mana, there's way too many games that you cast it for three, and that's unacceptable. You can't only totally build a deck thinking about the best case scenario. So, that is my first complain about the deck but you know we'll see now now two now it's just have two unusable cards in it you'll be like oh but by turn four you're gonna pay one mana to draw two cards if everything goes right sure but i can't play magic thinking about my turn four i have to have one and two drops in my modern deck so this is how you know deck build should happen i think you want to play four shredder instead of the thought casts yeah that that makes sense I cracked two bubbles before having a motive. Well, my motive was I wanted to draw Urza Saga and close the game. That was my motive. If I play bubble in my deck to not crack them, I, I, I don't think it's... I don't think I have a good deck. It, the only reason is Thought Cast. I crack the bubbles. If I play, like, Legacy with 8 cast, where I have Thought Monitor, Kappa Cannoneer, Thought Cast, then I'm okay in cracking the bubbles. Alright. Um... Do I want to play Bubble here? No, I don't think so. I'll go land go here. I always think about that. The option for not playing this deck is to play Is it Merc Tide? Where if you draw all your spell, you can cast them whenever you want. You don't have to wait that XYZ happen for you to cast your spells. I always have in my mind a competitive uh, scenario mindset and not a live the dream mindset. This is uh, you know, something that despite I tried to you know be a content creator as much as I wanted to, I can never take away the fact that I always look at my cards Comparing them to better cards in the same format. Anyway, my point Mulligan 2 5 looks like, but they started with Esposante on the play. Yeah, Underworld Breach as well, similar to this deck for sure. Like, like last two games I lost, and Underworld Breach would have never lost those two games because eventually you draw Underworld Breach and the game is over. Whereas I lost the long game against Rhinos, both games. Ooh, they go Kadra complete. That's scary. I have Ether Gust in Urza Saga. Uh, sorry, Ether Spellbomb in Urza Saga. 
So hopefully I'll take like a bunch of hit of those and then I'll bounce it. I'll play bubble and pass. Yeah, don't crack bubble now because it grows my saga and my thought casts. But see, again, like if I was blue or murk tied, I would have cracked this bubble, draw an extra card. Whereas now I have to hold it because of this. Anazem came 10th in the modern challenge? That's cool. No, I didn't see it. You think Mistra's reach or chest is a reasonable saga target in modern? I mean, sure. I mean, it's not a bad card. All right. Thirteen. Next turn, I'm gonna take five more. Sorry, twelve. Next turn, I'm gonna take five more. This card isn't just a cycle. This card makes a graveyard for Merkta Regent. It makes Delirium for Chandler and the Noli Heat. It's not just cycle. It makes spell if your deck has spell based the theme. And now it's a 2 2. So I can block these guys. I'll definitely block the Sentinel because it's, yo, know, well, much better. Oh, you blacksmith killed it. Sure. Okay, let's go. I'm happy that the blacksmith skill because now I can bounce the uh, direction germ with the ether gust. I don't think I should have done that. Hello, if I make a token, yeah, I'll make a token here. Then I go island bounce. It's okay, right? Okay, Stay positive, always. Uh, it's important though to have critical thoughts about the list that you're playing. Otherwise... That's unblockable. Hope to not die to these weak cards, but I guess it's what's happening right now. I mean, by weak cards, I mean on the board stage. <laughs> Obviously, they're good cards. I'm excited at this. But, yeah. Because the opponent can attack with this, give it protection. Hmm. Yeah, or also do this. Protect after. It's the same, it's the same uh, concept. It's the same concept. Alright. Hey, I can't crack the bubble or else my construct dies. Ragavan. That's a blocker. I love that. Uh, what am I looking for here? Removal spells. Uh, do I go iteration first? Yes. Let's go iteration first. Removal spells? For what? For the giver of runes, maybe? Oh, a spell pierces your last card. Jeez, that's annoying. I guess I wish I played Saga and paid the tax with the Saga. I mean, let's go Mountain Ragavan. I'm at three life. I don't die quite yet, but I am very close to it. And also the Shadow Spear is in the sideboard. I don't mind Shadow Spear in the sideboard, honestly. That's really a card that you never want to draw. One of the bad things of playing Urza Saga is the Shadow Spear, drawing the Shadow Spear. I am fortunately, uh, yeah, this is... This is not an acceptable card in this deck. I will uh, side it out. I think that's way too much evidence. 
at this point. All right, so they only go one of the... No, I was going to say they only go... Oh, they have the... What do they have to protect? No, Blacksmiths? I don't know what they have. But I'll block this way. Oh, you know. See you on the very end. All right, I'm a one. Draw? Huh. So what's my best bet in order to draw a removal spell? I guess pay three to do this. Then crack the bubble. Burn. Yep, dead. Dead to the brute. What a terrible death. Can I ask me if you prefer Team or Jessica version of Breach? You can ask me. But I do not answer because I don't have any idea. Alright, Pirate Spell Bomb, Needle, uh, Moon. Remember, all only happens to your opponent. Just removal spells in general. Alright. Let's take out those. Uh, is Spell Pierce worse than uh, Rebuke? Probably. Probably. Let's do. Let's do this. I've I've I brought in a lot of interaction, so I'm cutting interaction too. But the old border soga lanterns. The old border just makes every card look better. Why didn't you buy the old border Tomo script? Those are like. Um, let me check the price on old border Tomo script. Unacceptable. Not spending three ticks to buy old border Tomo script. Adios. M15 Tomo script, you're in. Okay. A keeper. I have an interaction with Galvanic Blast. Sprinkler Drum is good with Saga. Ether Spell Bomb is good. Let's go. Terpatic Clonoclast, a little bit clunky with all these sagas, but that's okay. It's part of the it's part of the deck. Yeah, yeah, I am also f I have three old border measures bubble, I only miss one. I'll go Saga and I'll kill the Sentinel now. Before my opponent untaps with a counter spell. You have to kill Sentinel. All right, is that a stone forge? I hope they get Caldra because I have this in my hand. I get the Nethel assist. Interesting. Whoa, this is amazing draw because I'm able to go make a construct and then play Emery. Very good draw here. I should I should win this game. This game is hard to lose, I think, because we finally have Saga plus interaction. Sentinel is the best one drop in MH two. Well, the 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 thing with Sentinel is that it's great on turn one. It's yet it might be better than Ragavan on turn one, but later in the game it's much worse than Ragavan and the, or or Channeler, and the the strength of one drop has to be weighted. Is that a right word? Waited in the long game, not just at the beginning, I think. So 
So I have milled Immature's Bubble, which is kind of the dream with Emery. You play Sentinel. And you pass. All right, let's go. On top draw, make a token. Token will give me mana with the drum. I might just get Mox Amber here. Is that the, is that is that bad? I don't think it's bad. We can get Pissing Needle on the Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, let's do that actually. That will counter. Yeah, let's do that. Pissing Needle on Stoneforge Mystic. That basically counters my opponent who wanted to vile the Zinn in response. Oh, end of turn. Okay, I'll play Saga. I'll play Bubble for my graveyard. I paid the tax of Sentinel. Do I have any suggestion on a modern or a pioneer deck? Um, no, this is too much of a personal question. I don't have a suggestion of this kind. You can check my YouTube channel. I have uh, every modern deck. Uh, I don't have every pioneer deck, but well, most of them. But yeah. it's too personal of a question, let's say. All right, uh, I could actually die here if I if I just play a spell bomb, I could die because I need a blocker. It depends on way too many things to answer that question. So, I mean, if you want to ask a more direct question about what's the last card that you bought, I can give you an answer. All right, so the ways I can lose is Cigar to Zade, Land, Attack, Hummer. I can't beat that one. Pusty Paladin cannot kill me. So since I can't beat that one anyway, I might as well just stop out. I would say any deck in the top 20 is very fine, yeah. You like Needle on Stoneforge Mystic rather than Needle on Ink Moth. Yes, that's exactly what I did. Because their plan was to end of turn violin the, the Nethosis and I time walked them. I'm putting the... Actually, I don't know what they're called, but because obviously it's not time walk, but they spent, they had five cards in end and they just wasted two mana in a game where, you know, obviously. In a game where obviously the, 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 the game was about time. So I put it just wasted uh, two mana. It was huge. There is game where there, this was a tempo game, and then there's like the game. The game against Rhinos wasn't tempo at all. It lasted fifteen turns. Whereas these games are tempo. My opponent game one exactly killed me on zero life, and game two we just out tem out tempo them. It's important to understand what's your role uh, in a in a match. Yes, Civil Librarian. A lot of. Uh... A lot of a lot of weekly subs for sure. How was Sofia? I didn't uh, see anything. I did the good old magic uh, tournament to uh, play the game see convention center. But one thing I liked it was very cheap. I like to travel to cheap uh, places. Nessus would only be a three three. It's it's not about that. I think. Yeah. Did I get any pulls from? I don't open boxes. Sorry, I've uh, I've already sold four boxes though. On the other hand, so that was a nice prize for sure. All right, let's keep. Not a great hand, but I can't mulligan every hand that isn't great. Will I go to Barcelona? I will not. I am going to New York for a holiday with uh, my girlfriend uh, that week. Maybe if they announced it a little bit earlier than like one month and a half, I could have pre predicted a different uh, holiday, but it wasn't the case. So uh, I'm also playing Bubble. Yeah, I could, I could always go for Esper Sentinel. Is Bulgaria in Eurozone? It's one hour time zone difference.
Oh, you meant uh, the zone? Yeah, it's the... Um, yeah, no, they use another another currency. Hello, real common. Okay, my opponent does nothing. I guess they also want to do the Saga plan. Sure, let's go Saga myself. It's likely that they don't do anything, so my Metallic Rebuke does nothing, but I also want to make tokens here. Ornithopter. Yeah, can't counter that one. Uh, what do we do now? Mm. I certainly need to... So when I can go Hammer, can take Hammer from the Saga next turn. Is not great. Not great at all. I think I'm passing this way or not. Yeah, I'm passing this way. They make a token and then let's, let's see what they do with the saga. I didn't play Urza Saga turn one. Uh, because I would like to make tokens with my Saga. Playing playing Earth Saga turn 1 uh, doesn't let you make tokens with it. Yeah, yeah we have uh, organized uh, a lot of uh, things, but thank you, Moon. Okay, I can beat it. Rockefeller, yes, we booked that. Empire State Building, yes, we booked that. Center Park, we booked that. Big Christmas tree. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have uh, certainly booked a lot of a lot of things. Ooh, they can get a pit and needle. No, they get hammer. Oh. Okay, so they're keeping a construct token. I have a spell bomb. Uh, sure. I guess they have a counter spell, so I'm gonna wait begin combat so that they don't have one mana to pay for my Metallic Rebuke. So now I'm not gonna make tokens because I have to answer my opponent. Try to visit Little Italy? Yeah, 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 we have that book too. We have a lot of... Uh... Okay, there goes Stoneforge Mystic. Mm. All right, uh, let's try to bounce uh, the Construct now. They have two cards in hand. They go for Blacksmith skill. And I go for Rebuke. Unfortunately, I don't have enough mana to also play a Nully Heat here. So I'm just gonna go get Armor. I don't think I can do much, right? I just have to Rebuke this, and then I, uh, opponent is gonna put Armor on the top there. Do I, I don't have another Spell Bomb, of course. So it's gonna be difficult now. Do I actually have any way to get rid of the top there as it is? Hello, the one Jane. We're gonna put a hammer on the top there. Um, uh, 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 how do I how do I handle it? Spell is in the graveyard. I guess I can chum block it. Until I draw Emory to flash back the spell bomb. The double Anoli Heat. Ooh, that's a good suggestion. Yeah, I mean, not now, but it's a good suggestion. Uh, well, uh, for sure, to make a token, because I have to chunk block it. I have three types, so I'm missing one type now. Actually, no, I have all types. I have all types. I have all types, never mind. Uh, okay, what do I get then? You wanna pithy needle the hammer? You think so? So I don't have, uh, because I make the token, I don't have double red, but I guess I wouldn't have double red anyway. I think I have to go at spring lip drum because I need double red. It's not for now, not this turn I just chum block, but I have to take double red. So here, what I do is uh, probably just Urza Saga, Mistress Reacher Desk, and pass. Because I have to chump block. I guess I can also suck this bomb. Why not? 
What's at the top of the deck? It's a ginger brute. Okay, good to know. A ginger brute in hand and a mystery card. Oh, Pure Steel Paladin is your card. Madonna mia. I'm dead. Hey, yeah, okay, but I lost. I lose. All right. Zero two, tough start. It is round number three. I'm on the play with my companion. I have a good end. Let's go. Events and tapped, drum. Eh, do I want to hold the bubble? I'll play it. Maybe my opponent plays as for Sentinel. It's only bad if I draw exactly third path iconoclast. Okay, another hammer player. Another hammer player. Good to know, good to know. I'll play Emery. I milled a bunch of artifacts and pass. Hello, straight kill. All right, they go for turn two Saga. And they go for Spring Lift Drum. Which I kind of want to counter. I'll counter it. Obviously, it'd be a mistake or whatever, but I feel like giving my opponent one land isn't ideal. All right, let's start with iteration. Good. Okay. Allora. <clears throat> I could go for Iconoclast this turn, or I could just... No, nah, I think I'm gonna go... Hand. Bottom. Exile. Play the Iconoclast next turn. With this I'll bounce. Sorry, with this... Actually, I can... Wait a second. I can do it all. Yeah, let's do it. So I'll go Mox Amber from the graveyard, cast Mox Amber, go Iconoclast, and uh, go Ether Spellbomb. Alright, alright, I like this turn a lot now. I like this turn a lot more now. Go. Bubble you. I love magic. You just... Some lies just come up and you didn't even plan for them i love it all right perfect they just go land go holding up saga i have spellbomb plus emery i am positive about this game Ooh, another of that cool yep give her runes all right let's start with their path iconoclast And then what? I kind of want to leave up Otawara plus either Spellbomb. Do I have enough mana to do that? Yeah, because this costs three. And this costs one. So I do have enough mana to do that. So I just make two tokens here. Then I even bubble myself, and then I can fetch or not. 
another emery I will fetch. And pass. I have all the mana off put to do both Otawara and the Spell Bomb. This deck is very cool, yeah. <clears throat> For sure. If your opponent lets you do the things, it's fun. We're not converting to match wins, unfortunately. Also, this game, I'm not drawing Thoughtcasts. So I was able to be way more smooth. I mean, obviously, if I draw Thoughtcasts now, it's great. I usually play like one off Thoughtcast to draw it in the moments like this. And thinking about this. Hello, opponent. I guess we are waiting our opponent, so in the meanwhile, Jund, Jund Sacrifice, four Blood Crypt, two blah, 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 four Bells and Mire, Castle Lock, Twain, Mountain Tomb, Sokens and Stomping Ground. Swamp, four sagas, blah blah blah, four bubble. You have to do this. Cat, Thoughtseize, Bolts, Ragaban. Oh, no drum. Oh, yeah, drum. Two cracks up. Mind devil. Three grist. To buy grist. I think I only have two, right? Yeah. Cyber doesn't have Necromancy anymore. Cool. Doesn't have Void Mirror anymore. How it might yeah, 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 and then also a couple of pointers command. All right. <clears throat> I never know how to write code again. It's crazy. All right. Yeah, this is the deck I will play at some point. Okay, we resume. My opponent will make a token with Saga. Perfect. And they get what? Hammer? Oh no, they get drum. And they play Sentinel. Okay. I think I'll block. And then I'll attempt to bounce the the giver of runes. I'll attempt to bounce the giver of runes. 
opponent will protect. They don't. A lot of a lot of war the token. All right, and that is clean. It's now on top. Flashback the spell bomb. Eight attacks. I'm gonna get back Giganta here. Nah. Let's bounce this. Let's bolt this. Alright. Slide in a lot of stuff here. So it's this eight, and I'm taking out the interactions. Seven and eight. Perfect. Let's go. How is Mistra's Reacher's desk speed? Well, I only played a few games, but uh, it looks like one of those cards that you fetch up when you need card advantage, which uh, definitely matters. It definitely matters. It's a one mana artifact, it can't be that bad. Alright, let's go. I got good cards. I keep on seeing people setting out Ragavan against Hammer Time, and I just can't believe that it's been like 14 months, 16 months of uh, Modern Horizons and people still do that. This just don't, don't, don't do it, trust me. Trust me on that. It's not a mountain. Might be bad, but it has shattering spree. So my red sources will definitely will definitely be good. I hold the bubble. They clearly don't have us for Sentinel or they would have played it. So this way if I draw Iconoclast, I have a bubble in hand. Stormford Mystic. Don't get an indestructible creature, please. Don't get Caldra. Hammer, perfect. That is very much destructible. Uh, the problem of trading Ginger Brute now is that Dema Shattering Spray is worse. So I guess I'm holding back. I'll bubble myself. And then I can go just Mishra's desk. Fetch tapped? No, untapped. Because I could draw an interaction. I took a mountain because I have Shattering Spray. I don't want to get Island. Whoa, that's powerful. Powerful interaction here. I guess they have the blacksmith skill. If I go on only heat on the giver of runes now, I think it's okay. They go blacksmith skill and then I go shattering spray on this too. No, they didn't have blacksmith skill. Hmm. Try to do this. They concede. <laughs> All right. We won a game. We won a match. We won a match. Woo -hoo! Mm-hmm. 
Who's doing it right now? Mario Gomez. Famous soccer player. Also known as a modern aficionado. Not the best hand. How is the deck going? You know, I mean, we're 1 2, started 0 2, but I don't think the deck is bad. Like, I think we hit a little bit of a bad variance. Like, I usually don't say those things, so. <laughs> I'm gonna keep. You saw a more aggressive version of this deck. Yeah, if I had to play this list again, I would cut the thought casts for. Uh, sorry. I would cut the thought casts for uh, Ledger Shredder. This would be my first change. Three thought casts, three Ledger Shredder. One month to power to five. Round number four begins. My opponent is on the play on the mulligan to five. Not bad. Is this another hammer time player? It is. It certainly is. I feel like I have to make my opponent draw a card here. Oh no. Sure, post your link, Shadowless. I shouldn't play Durham here. Wow, they just jammed. Unacceptable. Unacceptable defeat. All right. Let's bring the guys in. Let's go. Let's click on your link. Ooh, channeler. Good podcast. Eighteen lands with four saga, so greedy. You're playing fourteen lands. The original list at 19, first change I made was adding a land because that's. Needle. Right. What was Needle for? Oh, yeah. That's what I learned there. Thank you. I mean, Hammer is a great deck and it's very fast, perfect for leagues. The four drums really helps. I would say I didn't notice the four drums. Yeah, four drums do help, that's true. I didn't pay attention to the artifacts, I guess. Let's go. 
Let's go. Alright, this end is good. It's a little bit clunky that I can't go turn two Saga if I also want to go third path Iconoclast. Not the best. I'm not a biggest fan of that, but we'll make it work. I'll go Saga. And I'll go on only hit pay the tax. And I once again hold the, the bubble amber. I hold the bubble amber because of um third party iconoclast. Make a token. Next turn I can get drum of a lot of mana. I can do my stuff. Man, it's so nice to have lands. It's really nice to have lands to do all the stuff that you want to do. I'm not ta I'm not blocking. I don't want to tell my opponent to um, top that out. I'll just take one. If I just put a 1-1 one, one block, they... Whoa, this is not a good play, opponent. How about... Uh, should I... Because I wanted to go for Spell Bomb here. Should I instead just float mana? Nah, because then I make you draw cards. I don't want to make you draw cards. But maybe you didn't think about spell bomb. But I did. First, I attack. And then I bounce. I want to still slow roll these artifacts because because I think I'm gonna get my value eventually. Could have been this turn, but I decided to just make another construct, which is gonna be huge next turn. Those two constructs are gonna be incredibly large because the third party color class tokens are artifacts. Reveal Shadow Spear. Kiss Keep. Uh, 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 let's go. Third Party Conoclast. Trigger. Trigger. Emery. Trigger. And now it's Chump Lock time, opponent. But a boom! All right, very, very good performance. Drawing lands is nice. Doctor, gold head, twenty nine months. Twenty nine months, Doctor. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. How's it going, Doctor? Lens and spells. My spells are pretty weak, but let's keep it. You don't open Twitch much lately? What happened? A work to do?
point outside? What's that? Ooh, Mishra's bubble. Muy strong, muy strong. Let's start with a safe uh, turn one, Ragaban. Hopefully no sanctifying back here. All right, Ragavan will uh, force the trade. Let's see what I get. Colossus is Amar. Then I go land, desk, bubble, emery, crack bubble. What well, pine moon I milled. And they found the spring with drum, okay. Four cards, one of which is a hammer. Paladin. Okay, they didn't have Metacraft. They decided to not play hammer and draw a card. Weird. Draw. Hmm. I want to start. Iteration digs for three. Mistress Research Desk digs for two. I think I am looking at the top two cards. On the bubble, not ideal, but okay. What now? My opponent. <clears throat> yeah, I really needed to kill that paladin. I don't think I'm able to do it now. Sherlock. Thank you so much, Sherlock. So at this point, I... Uh, what's my play? Can my play just be... Play Ragavan? Alright, let's play Bobo. See my first card. It's a god blast. Perfect. 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 Now, I will flashback bubble, play Ragaban, pass. I draw a god blast, and I'll fire it off in my opponent's upkeep. Get three cards in it, one of which is a Hummer. Nice, nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Very, very, very nice. They have a land on top, so they have four cards, two of which are these two. Two mana. Oh, it's another Paladin. Ay, ay, ay. Let's see if they have an artifact to equip, because right now they can't equip, they need metal craft. Oh, 
Eh, I, uh, okay, I need to find, uh, uh, Otawara is here, so I need to find, uh, Keep a spell bomb. I hope they don't have the skill. Let's start with a uh, expressive iteration because this, this digs the deeper. Needle. Needle does nothing here. I guess I don't really need the lands anyway, so. I just get the needle regardless. Bubble myself to land. Get a mountain since I have three shadow, uh, not three, but I have a lot of, uh, Should I just cast Mishra's Reachers? Nah. Nah, I'll get Bubble. I'll play it. Now I leave it there because of Metallic Rebuke. You chum block with Ragavan here. Hoping my opponent doesn't have a Shadow Spear. I could have gone Pit Needle on Shadow Spear, but that doesn't look great. Okay, that's a lot of chum blocker. Maybe I should actually have gone for a Shadow Spear. Uh, maybe. Because now they can go like Stoneforge Mystic, Shadow Spear, or lose the game. I guess I counter. Hmm. Land, Shadow, Land Stoneforge Mystic. No, I still... Okay. Alright. A Chum Block. Third Path of class gives me a lot of Chum Blockers. Or is the Saga strong? I want to Pine Moon in my deck. I will correct the bubble. Think about Nexus on top. All right, that, that can kill me next turn. So I guess we have to name either Nexus or Hammer to not die to to Nexus. We can also name Saga. That's why I didn't uh, play the Needle because like you have ideas. Like you, you you keep your you keep your options open. That's very important in Magic to keep your options open. Hello. Uh, let's begin with a flashback bubble. I'll play Path Iconoclast. I'll play Mishra's Bubble. Now I have only a top land, so I'll play the top land. I want I want to needle the saga, right? Yeah, I needle the saga because I can just power spell bomb the Nexus next turn. So I needle the saga, which I know it's in it's in play. It's awkward because I also play Saga, but. Oh, my opponent actually is going to get Shadow Spear eventually. Hmm. I, I, my guess is that by that time, I hope to find some answers by the time the saga goes on chapter 3. Does that make any sense? No, probably not. Should I just name Shadow Spear? Because, like, they make a token, it's not that the end of the world. I just chum block them, I have Iconoclast in play. I think I'll name Shadow Spear. I think Shadow Spear is 100% the way I lose this game. And I pass with the Metallic Rebuke up. Should I also crack the bubble? Nah. Maybe. Yeah, okay, I will also crack the bubble. Yeah, because I can just tap uh, three this way. Oh, I, I knew this card already. I, I guess it didn't really matter to know their cards. It, would mo it mostly mattered to draw a spell. Okay. Uh, my, my saga is active because I ended up naming Shadow Spear. Yeah, they can still go through with um, Hydra Complete, but that, that takes seven mana. They have two cards in hand. And a chump block. I played against, uh, this is my third hammer, and I lost to Rhinos. 
Draw Eater Spellbound, very strong. Now I wish I could name a hammer. Anyway, let's play the land. Let's play a, a bunch of cards here. Let's play Ether Spellbomb first. Bounce the Paladin. Replay Ether Spellbomb. With Emery. I hate power. Look at many. How much stuff am I doing here? Replay Pirate Spell Bomb. Sorry, play Pirate Spell Bomb. Now I am attacking. If they make a Saga Construct, I bounce. Is it good? They make a Saga Construct, I bounce. I guess it's not good, no. I'll just pass here. Very difficult game on my side, but let's see. Needle now wish I knew I named Colossus Armor. But at the same time, if I didn't draw the spell bomb, you know, I'm not that unhappy. If I didn't draw a spell bomb, I'm happy I named the needle there. I named the, I named the shadow spear there because I needed a chump blocker. Difficult game. Overall, I think we're navigating pretty well. They have Paladin in end. Next turn, I have my uh, Saga. I don't have Shadow Spear in my deck. But with Spellbomb and um, uh, Emery, I think I'm able to get rid of my opponent board. Emery doing some heavy lifting. Yeah, I mean, Emery is a great card if left unchecked. The problem with Emery is that dies to removal. Dying to removal is a downside in the Constructed Magic. So if you put a creature that doesn't even enter the battlefield effect, that's positive. So milling four, it's not a good enter the battlefield effect. And it dies, you are uh, not playing a great magic card. And if that's a one drop like Ragavan, then like it's okay. But if that's a a two drop like Emery on average, that might be a little bit too bad, you know? So a lot of people think that dying to removal is a meme, like not something that you should mention, but that's not true. A creature these days should always have a, a strong anti the battlefield effect. Or they should be very cheap. Alright, they make a token, that's fine. Let's see what they tutor up here. Ooh, they get Relic of Progenitus. Aha. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Need to play this well, then. Can I play this well? I hope so. Probably not, though. Let's bounce the Construct, because it's too large. I'll hold the Bright Spell Bomb here, so that they kill my Emery first, and then I... I flash back the... Um, sorry, they kill my Graveyard first, and then I'll be able to flash back the Bomb. If they play Paladin now, I can't Metallic Rebuke it. Hope it happens. They have four cards, one of which is a Paladin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iconoclast DRC Shredder count. Yes. Yes, it does. It does count. All right. Graveyards are clean. What am I missing now forever? Ether Spell Bomb, Mistress Research Desk, that's it. Good to know. What about you? Nothing relevant. Alright, you play another Saga. Probably drew off the Relic. And then you play Sea Shaper Gift, playing around my Metallic Rebuke. Very smart. No, no, no.
Why didn't I chomp so I didn't exile the spell bomb? Eh, well... I don't wanna just chomp. I feel like I have Pyrite Spell Bomb, which is uh, also good. Here. Okay, next turn, I'm gonna have a large construct as well, just like that, so. They could get Caldra. Pay 7 mana? Sure, I have Metallic Rebuke. I'm okay with that. They should get Caldra? I don't know, I mean, I don't know their hand. Usually, if you don't know their hand, it's uh, very hard to predict what's the right play. Their hand is Purcipadian plus two mystery card. My next turn is gonna finally be expressive iteration, and also I have Saga token. I can also uh, draw a card with Pirate Spell Bomb end of turn, which I think it's a fine choice. I don't know. We'll see. If they don't make me cast the Metallic Rebuke here, I'll draw a card end of turn. They got Sword of Fire and Ice. That's weird. Alright, I'll draw a card end of turn. Iteration, Saga goes up. I'll uh, try... I guess I can go through... Um, yeah, I'll go through Patek on cost. Then I'll flashback the bomb. And uh, make two tokens. And I'll pass. My construct is very big, much bigger than my opponent's. I could have gone for iteration, but you know this is all right. Okay, that's your draw. Let's see if you crack it immediately. Sigarda's aid. Okay. <clears throat> and I still have um, Paladin and this in it. Paladin is uh, also okay. Now, Sigarda's Aid plays around Pithing Needle. If I put in a Shadow Spirit, I can immediately keep it without uh, without having to pay the cost. So Pithing Needle doesn't work against Sigarda's Aid. If they got Shadow Spear, I guess they top deck Sigarda's Aid. Because if they got Shadow Spear, I would have died. Yeah. Okay, now I have a window to kill the uh, Paladin, but they just have Sword in response. Let me think about this. If I kill the Paladin now, opponent plays Sword, I can play Retalic Rebuke. Is it okay to kill Paladin here? Or should I just not? They have Nexus exclamation mark. So you think I'm dying to a hammer if they have, if they have a... It's a bait. All right, all right, that's a good point, actually. I'm dying if they have Hammering End. Yeah, all right, cool. My, my Construct token can get bigger than 12. This is a very difficult game. Uh, the Hammer Time is such a, such a complicated deck to both play and play against. Attack, I have to jump block. All right, I'll make a token. How big is it? I don't know. It honestly doesn't matter how big it is. It's a 9-9, sure. 
make two constructs. What do I get here? I'll get a Mox Amber. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. Hand, bottom, exile. Yeah, but we have the spell one for Nexus, so I guess they have a sorted response. Hmm. Yeah, I could see losing my I can see losing this game here. Another saga on top. She doesn't do very much. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what to do now? I guess I'll attack with this seventeen seventeen construct, which must be blocked. What about the rest? Yeah, probably okay attacking with a bunch of creatures here. Okay. I'll just go Saga Go here. I draw two cards in my opponent turn because I cracked two bubbles. Mechanized Warfare. If an artifact, if a red or artifact source you control would deal damage to your opponent, it deals damage to plus one instead. No. Can't play those cards in modern. How do we survive? Put in my play around stuff, I don't know. I was already dead on board if I didn't top deck a removal spell now. I mean, I was going to, I dug a lot to find uh, my cyber cards. Like, I've drawn one removal spell, like four Galvanic Blast, two Shattering, Sp uh, Shattering Spree, and two more Blast. I have 24 cards left in my deck. Put them in Pirate Spell Bomb. Yeah, we lose. Kind of unfortunate. I feel like, you know, I'm I'm 1-3 here. I'm 1-3, so it feels like it's a bad deck, right? 1-3. But I think that my losses are so close. My losses have been very close. I don't think I particularly played badly. Just very close and just, yeah, it is what it is. Should have grabbed another Pirate Spellbook with the Saga. I got the Mox Amber because I wanted to have more mana to dig because I played Iteration and I could have played another Iteration. They can activate again to get flying if you're missing that. Lane underscore. Buongiorno, Nico. <clears throat> Round number five. Hoping to get 50 treasure chests back. Yeah, 
lands and can do it. We have enough lands to play our spells. Verda Catacomb. Is this the Jound Bracket? Nope. Is this the Ponza Bracket? If this is a Blood Moon, I can't cast any more spells. It's an old word troll instead. Alright. Play Emery. Otawara now costs two mana. And I milled a spring of a drum. And it passed. Against three armor today. Ooh, Nykthos. Five mana. See what they do. Kiora. Alright, six mana. Let's see what they do. Cavalier Thorns. See what I milled? Another Nykthos. Poseju. Yep. They have two cards in hand. Did it tap me? For five, all right. Okay. Uh, 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 um, let's flashback drum. I just play Land untapped? No. Land tapped, because I can't have Metallic Rebuke up anyway. Plus this, so I just go land tapped. Go. Hello, City Gold. Yeah, they have the combo Arbor Elf, Yavimaya. Very likely. They have two cards in end. They attack me for. Should I chunk block? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna take. Oh, they just uh, attack for six only. Alright, cool. I'll go to nine. They have two cards. I hope it's two lanes. Yeah, it looks like it is. Make a token end of turn. Uh, let me make another token. Yeah, I think I need a. Uh, I need big blockers. What do I get here? Uh, either spell bomb or a bubble. Oh, I guess spell bomb is fine. I don't have needle and cure. What next? What's next? If I got bubble, at least I could have cracked the bubble to regain Bali with the Emery, so that was a mistake, I'm assuming. <clears throat> yeah, I think that was a mistake. All right. Let's try to fix the mistake by pop back in bubble. I should have on top. Storm of the festival, keys. So they're a way for me to mill that card. Probably not. I bounce the old or troll. I mean you have so much mana. Yeah, no. She never bounced any of your cards. I'll uh, exile a random card and then I'll uh, 
Paz. Salseo. Thank you for the raid, Salseo. Come with us. GG. Salseo. Good morning, good morning. We should buy Iconoclasta. I mean, it's an uncommon. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fine card to buy, I think. Put it as 18 mana. Um, yeah. I will be able to exile it if they put something on the stack. Like, if they put creatures into play, that will trigger Kiora. Utopia Sprawl, Endurance. Perfect. Now, Endurance has a trigger, so I'm going to be able to exile their graveyard because Endurance has a trigger. All right, that's that's actually very relevant here. Overdenator. Okay, now, uh, yeah, this works. It's okay. And they have 12 mana. They didn't have anything last turn, and they didn't add anything to the board this turn, so I think they're just passing. Yeah, exactly. Very important that they put something on the stack. Eh, they attack me again. Double block this time, I think. One three? Yeah. Because MTG streamer are not worth anything if they weren't three, so can't buy. Uh I think double block is important here, yeah. After this is going to be another Legacy video. Yes, I'll play Legacy. Alright. They will be able to make a 4-4 draw card. Yeah. But the 4-4... Oh, also a trample. Okay. Yeah, you draw a card. I could have gone to three, but I don't think it was worth it. Nick Thos. I will sacrifice the Mishra's bubble. You have a layer of the Hydra on top. That's large. Draw. Draw two. Let's see if I find uh, the Iconoclast. Let's go iteration. Saga, saga, saga. All right. Saga, saga, saga. Urza, saga. <sighs> no iconoclast. Should I play another iteration? No, not really. Just last turn, I was I I needed to play this because I had no lands and I had three lands in my hand. It was just last turn. I wish I had a Tawari in now. I don't really have any relevant to play. I guess I'm cracking another. Not this. Then this is shrink. Yeah, I pass here. Twenty attacks at all. Hmm. Thankfully, Lyra cannot attack here. What was my opponent land? I could have gone iteration. Should I go iteration? What's a spell I can cast off iteration? I guess one of those cheap artifacts. Yeah, maybe I will go iteration. Just because otherwise I'm just wasting mana. Yeah, I'll go iteration here. If I break, I break. And bottom. I'm happy. I'm happy with the duration. Should I crack those bubbles? Those increase the construct card. But I could draw an only heat, which isn't even active because my opponent cleared my graveyard. Hello, DR. Alright. 
the draw layer, the secret layer, tapped. Do you have any modern legacy deck that you don't like to play? Hmm. Negative content asking, huh? Good or negative content? Allora, we want to do a lot here. I think so. I mean, the dragon does nothing. And then I can finally crack those bubbles. To find uh, the third iconoclast. I don't think they didn't do anything. Hello, Big Z. Welcome back. Welcome back home. All right, draw to three. Iconoclast, porca merda, where are you? Dai, oh, ma che cazzo. I dug like so deep in this deck. I must have dug like 40 cards, I swear, because they endurance me. Guarda che merda di mano che c'ho. I have nine cards in hand and they're all bad. Ma porca puttana. Another bubble, I play Saga, pass. Where does this deck come from? The one and only. Aspiring Spike. I need to draw Iconoclast. I think if I draw Iconoclast this game, I don't know. Yeah. You got this. Eleven mana. Oh, it's just layer. Sure, it's a it's a huge layer. Could have even could could have even be larger. They decided that ten ten is enough. Have you tried Marvel Snap? I only play Magic the Gathering. Never ever tried another game. I'm loyal to the one and only Wizards of the Coast. This one of the chump blocks. This one goes sends me to four. Four is okay. I keep the bubbles or not? Boop. No, I die. That's just I need to draw that freaking third part iconoclast. What's on top of your deck? Another land. Very good. Very good. Let's go. Drawing three cards once again. Make it cats. Um, make it a token. Tutor up something. Mishra's research desk? Sure. Um, <laughs> play Ragaban. Play Mountain. Flashback Bubble. Wasn't it better Ether Spell Bomb? Sure. I have uh, enough mana to play my cards, so it's all right. I will pass the turn. 
this card appears. Oh, I don't have to discard. All right, you draw Nykthos. I want to do this because at the end of turn, I'm going to dig for the, for the card. All right, you set up the Hydra once again. Imagine if there... The Lyra had trampled. It'd have been a good land. Ooh, they don't have the Nykthos. Why? Why is not have the Nykthos? You activate this again in combat, I guess. I just chum blocking with my Ragaban. All right, end of turn. Make a token. Activate the Mishra's desk. What's on top? Thoughtcast Emery. Crack bubble. Now that you took a sprawl on top, only land from my opponent deck. Only lands my opponent has 40 in the deck, probably. Keep it, keep like that. Draw Ecololi, Iconoclast, bonjour. Make a token. Get a uh, spell bomb. Now, Alora, let's do it, let's do it, chat, let's do it. Uh, blue, red, Iconoclast. Island, Thoughtcast, Thoughtcast. Make token. Draw two. Bubble. Flashback bubble. Okay. What are you doing there? Green, green? What's that? Oh, he has spells? Oh. And do runs? Okay. Once again, I'm never decking gear. I'm putting only his endurances. I'm never getting decked, at least. It's the second endurance that puts like 20 cards at the bottom. Let's just go land. Go. I got my Tan Tan. Should I tap with my Tan Tans? No, because then they chump block with this. They put the old girl troll back. Go, go. I don't have to go anywhere. Do I have to go anywhere? I don't have to go anywhere. Maybe you have to go somewhere. Man, this league has been long. They just drew her. You took a sprawl. <laughs> By the way, they chose red, so they have a second color. No, if I wait, what's that? Blue? Oh, it's Sandy Cobolas? Oh, wow. You found blue with the the Kiora. Huh, that's funny. You, they found blue with Nykthos for Kiora. That's very funny. E okay. You got it. Don't really remember what it does. I guess it just dies to only heat. Not now, but later. No, now, but later. All right, they draw a card and I exile the card from my hand. Sure. The card they drew is a forest. Then Nick falls in hand. All right. Let's do it. I'll uh, draw a card. Card of your creator? Oh, Kaboya. We need to do something now. 
Like what? I don't know. I probably just bounce blockers now. Yeah, right? And I win, hopefully. So let's bounce blockers. Um, like, I bounce this. I need to get delirium. Can I get delirium? Probably. Draw two. Land. Can I get delirium here? Hmm, probably not. Oh, I have to bolt this guy. I have to bolt this guy here. In the top of forest. Okay. Then I have to flashback the spell bomb. I can see the two blockers and that's enough. All right, good game. Did you have fun this game? I think it was a fun game. Eagle. An old heat. A pine moon. Well, the was actually good in this match. Taking a rag about a Lira. Right, actually, I'm a spell piece believer. I don't think I like Spire Spell Bomb though. Good end. Shadow Spear. Hmm. He took a sprawl. That's a good start. Wonder what happens if Alpine Moon uh, over Gruntoon. Lose all the land types. Alpine Moon and over Gruntoon are just stone rains. Right? Because they lose land types. Land types is swamp forest. It's probably a bad idea, though. I just go for Nick Thos anyway. And pass. As it just kept a wall ender. Right. Yeah, decent chance. Yeah, I, I mean, making a rainbow is whatever. Playing with my monocolor, but disenchanting is good, I think. So, Iconoclast, Bobo. I mean, maybe I should. I'm so, supposed to hold the bubble because of the podcast, but. Be sure this work well. We'll see. Cavalier Thorn. Yeah, you have my. Uh, you might as good. I know we heat podcast. All right. I'm gonna hold on all the heat for like a planeswalker or something like that. I'll uh, begin with uh, iteration. Okay. End. Bottom. Exile. 
but get uh, I guess I can just tap the boards yeah make sure it's task pass All right, more of the bonistas Ogre Trolls. They might just be finding Nyctos, but I just don't take them because of my Alpine move. Yeah, there it is. That's the Nyctos. I need to find uh, Arisa Saga in this game. There it is. Very good. Let's play Saga. Let's play... Conoclast. Uh, thought cast, make two tokens. A pass. End of turn, it will sacrifice the Mishra's desk. Because this works until your next turn, so I can crack it end of turn and uh, play the card in my turn. Put it now has a lot of mana, of course, even without the Alpine Moon, but they're way less. Like they can't go off with Storm the Festival this time. They only have uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they have a Sage Alpine Moon. Va bene. E play card. Good thing I got the Anoli Heat untapped. Let's see what they tutor. We didn't get Sundry Titan. Sundry Titan blows up the saga as well. Because it's a forest. Because of the Yavimaya. That's very fun. Oh, I can't use the Mishra's research desk now. Hmm. That's annoying. I guess I'm going to kill the uh, Karn regardless. That's zero cards in end, but they're tutoring up a creature or a card. It can also be the nine drop. No, the the portal walking barista you got. Huh. Interesting. In response, I'm going to annually hit the card. Get two tokens. Yeah, I will yield until next ten step. I take down my third path iconoclasts and attack for six. I am taking six. Yeah, because I need all the tokens for sagas. Saga tokens are going to be large. I'll sack this. Get Galvanic Blast Expressive Iteration. Hmm. I think I'll blast. I need to kill the Ballista before I can put all the mana into it. Alright, so things to do with my mana this turn. Make a token. Alright, I'll begin with uh, Gal Blast, the Walking Barista. Alpine Moon, the Nexus. And Top Land. The Nyxus, I mean, not the Nexus. The Nyctus. Top land and pass. Remember, these lands are produce green, so I don't even need to fetch if I don't want.
they wrote just a 4-4, four four. no biggies. I make a Saga, which is large. I don't have a Shadow Spear in my deck. I misclick. I'm sorry for the misclick. I uh, could have had another token in play. I kind of want to just needle the Lyra the Hydra here. Lair of the Hydra, goodbye Saga, sorry for not making a token. I'll play Iteration. I'll go hand, bottom, exile. I'll play Emery. I'll play Emery. I'll uh, play Bubble. I'll Bubble myself. It's another Emery. Fetch for Topland and pass. Go. Rock. Another Emery. Wait, did I just shuffled? Empty Geo Shuffler. I request a shuffle. I requested a shuffle. I wasn't granted one. Glad with it. What do you get? Hopefully they break. <sighs> I get Nicol Bolas, a Cavalier of Thorns. Okay, I guess I am... Uh... Calvani blasting the Nicol Bolas with the ability on the stack so that they can't use the Planeswalker. Yep, you get the Cavalier. Uh, you milled uh, nothing of relevancy. Okay. I need to find uh, the card that exiles the storm. Although they don't have 10 mana because of my Alpine Moon. Okay, since I literally have nothing, I'm going to just uh, unearth this. No, I guess I don't need to unearth this. Uh, yeah, I'll unearth this. I'll unearth this. Um, yeah, I'll um, do it. I find Third Path Iconoclast. That's probably better than Thoughtcast. Blue, red. Then I flash back a bubble, make a token. I wish I had an extra co construct in play, but I don't. And then I will bubble myself. Find the Urza Saga, very good. Land go. Drop Urza Saga. Okay, my opponent doesn't have that much mana. So I can't metallic rebuke the flashback to Storm of the Festival. Go. Due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei. Okay, then tap. Yeah, our Paimon doing a good job here. The attack. Oh, I have to block with a construct. I don't mind if that gives them more mana, but I have to. Like, I'm a 12. Obviously, time is an issue now. I have seven minutes on the clock. Six, seven. Storm the festival. No, you played around Metallic Rebuke. Congrats. Big brain over there. What'd you get? You got Kiora and Karn. That's a nice pair. That was a pretty good draw. Storm into Kiora Karn. What do you get with Karn? How many robots do I have for a card in my deck? Actually, not that many. Because I drew two Anoli Heat out of the four, and I drew 
three Galvanic Blast already. By Drew, I mean milled, probably. They get how it might. How we, how wire might. Okay. And they cast it. First, they play around uh, Metallic Rebuke. Very good. And they pass. All right, I'll uh, fetch end of turn. Draw to war. Okay. I'll look. Oh, I feel like I lose the game now. I don't think I have a, a shot at this point. I guess what I should have done was play Emery first. Because I could have hit a way to exile the storm from the graveyard. As it is a lose, right? Yeah. I guess that card said to what's a wire first. Yep, yeah. alright, let's go to game three. Maybe I have a since of the timer I need to concede now if I want to have a game three. Alright, let's go. Looks like a sp yeah, I struggle to pick the opponent. It's true. Without Shadow Spear, it's no completely true. Maybe I should have had Shadow Spear. All right, let's go. Hopefully now uh, I can go very fast. Uh, Saga turn two and then go off from there. I'll God Blast the Bolt, the bird, I mean. Bolt the bird. Play Saga. Do I want to play this bubble? Nah, I'll hold it. But if I play Legacy, I, I'm, I'm still trying all the initiative decks. I did two leagues yesterday, I want to play another one uh, today after this league. Maybe my last time playing initiative decks, then I... Alright, I'll uh, return the cards to a friend of mine. They're like unacquirable like, right now, Magic Online. Okay, I'll uh, just go let go. Why no pirate spell with all those dorks? Well, usually you don't have kill the dork. On turn four or whatever. Alright, let's go. This time I'm not misclicking. I think I'll get the drum. I'll go with Thought Cast. Draw two with Thought Cast. Go Force of Vigor, that's annoying. Oh, that's annoying. Go Bubble Bubble. Not sure why they didn't kill my constructs, but okay. Two mana thought cast. Tap for three. Do I wanna crack these bombs? Maybe not. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? No! Porca puttana Eva, ma inculato! Ah, va bene. And we're getting red. Come on. Faster, 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 mango, faster. Faster. I thought I'm sixth. What do you do? Turn on the okay. Five. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, draw something good. Boom. Like Saga Iconoclast. 
needle on the layer. I'll go Emery. I'll go Anoli Heat. Should probably not have Anoli Heat there. It happened. Go. Go, 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 go. Four minutes. Come on. Come on, let's go. Ben, you pass. Draw card. Man, there's even this Yavimaya trigger now. That's annoying. Draw card immediately. Okay. Red blue iteration. Where's the saga? Hand bottom. Exile. Where's the saga? Where's the saga? Where's the saga? Go man, go go saga. Oh, let me let me rebuke something. Oh, finally. Die, 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 man. Go die, die, die. Draw. Saga, 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 saga. Ah! Stormin? Alright, he's Stormin. What's your storm? QRA troll. That about it. I still believe, I still believe, I still believe. I still believe. I'm a believer. Two minutes forty one, let's go. Draw a card. Saga. Die, vamos, 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 vamos. And only hit Kiora. F six. F six. Let's see. Oh, I guess I should have returned uh, Giganta too late. Why we're spending mommy instead of bubble because I can cast a card the same turn. If it just went bubble, it wouldn't have drawn the saga now. Eight mana you have already? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cavalier, okay. You have one card left. Hope you don't mill it. Uh... Okay, you didn't mill it. Plus, returning Soga Lantern is great. Oh, we get this in those last card. Lupo negativo. You think you can both card? All right, GG. 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 One four. 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 Adios. See you next time.